hello everybody and welcome back to another episode here from our villager profession house tutorials how is everybody doing oh man we're back again doing one more build here in our villager professions we've done everything you see right behind us the only one we got left is the smithing table so this is going to be really cool i got a really nice idea for a tool smith house so let's get this started but before we do let's check out every single build we've done so far in this series the farmer the fisherman the librarian the shepherd the cleric, the armorer, the fletcher, the cartographer, the weaponsmith, the stonemason, the butcher, and the leather worker. Also, before we get this started, there is a link in the description with the world downloads. So if you guys want to download the world, walk around, have fun, get some inspiration. It's a Java PC 114.4 world, but you can upgrade it to 115 or even the 116 snapshots. It should work just fine, but it's just for PC. Also, this is the end. This is the last episode here for our Plains Village biome. What biome should I do next? I'm going to start this up all over again, but in a different biome and a different build style. Let me know what biome and build style you'd like to see next in another series just like this one but you know what let's get this started right now all right and here are the dimensions for this toolsmith so over here we're gonna have a little bit of a smithing area we're gonna have a cool uh, forge on this side we're gonna have a step up right here in this little gap to get up to a second floor and down here we're gonna have almost like a little bit of a workstation all the tools are gonna be in display we're gonna have a little way in over here it's gonna be a lot of fun everything is all separated by our walls so you can count the blocks set it all up and you're good to go but the materials we're gonna be using pretty much the same we've been using this whole series just a bunch of stones and a little bit of uh, spruce with an oak log for the tree trim on the top area but for right now let's get it started i'm going to go right from this corner and we're going to start counting blocks so for right now let's just use stone and we're going to texture after so right here in this corner let's start so right here one two three four five six and seven i'm going to turn this corner and go another one two three four five six seven and eight turn this corner let's go a one two three four five six and this corner another one two and three Give it a three block gap space and put one right there. Now, really quick, I'm gonna lift all of these up right here, up to four. There we go, we got all these up by four. And again, we're gonna texture after. So for right now, let's do a little bit of a cross right here, just one, two, and three with our stone bricks to connect that portion. Then watch this, we're gonna grab some stairs. Let's go with stone brick stairs right in this corner and go one, two, three, and four. Now, once we have these stairs up, let's go right here in this corner next to this stair, let's go up one, Right here, we're gonna go up one, two. Here, we're gonna go up one, two, three. And here, we're gonna go up one, two, three, four, and five, right here. Let's give it a three block gap space, one, two, three. Right here in this corner, we're gonna go up one, two, three, four, and five as well. Let's cross in between one, two, and three here. Let's cover up this back here, one, two, three. And right in this corner, let's take it all the way up, one, two, three, and four. So we should have this little bit. Let's put one full block right in this bit right there. Now, we can come on the inside here. Let's cover up all this right here. So one, two, three, one, two, and one. We're going to grab our oak log, and we're going to put it right here. One, two, and three. Three up on this corner, and cross beam right at that spot. We're going to put some upside down stairs, one on this corner, and one on this corner. So we have this cool little archway effect. And then I'm going to put another log down on the bottom right there. We can put our door. Now, next up, right here, I'm going to put some slabs. Let's go with a slab right in this corner, one over here, and then slabs one, two, and three on top of those four blocks. Then next up, right here on this edge, we're going to grab some fences, just some spruce fences, and we're going to go down right here, one, two, and three. All right, once we have this foundation in place, let's start lifting up blocks above here for the second floor. So right here, I want to change this now from the regular stone to uh, some of the wood. So we're going to do a little bit of texturing here, but we're going to be also doing some Tudor style block placement. So super simple. Right here, we're going to go with our oak log, one, two, three, and four. Then let's do it on every other one going all the way around. So let's do this really quick. There we go. So every other one gets a oak log. Now in between that, we're going to grab our stripped spruce log and cover it up. And we're just going to take it up one, two, three, and four, just like the other ones. Now, once we have this in place, it's looking really cool. We got this nice little texturing going around here with the Tudor style. We're going to go right over here and let's put a slab right here to connect this bit. And then we're going to make a door right on this edge. So let's take this out one, two, and three, and then an upside down stair right there. Then next up, let's work on the roof outline over here. I'm going to start it out right here on this corner. We're going to go with spruce right on this edge, overhang that bit, take this down all the way. We're going to overhang that bit. Let's repeat this side as well with our stairs going all the way down, just like so. And then let's go with upside down stairs and just a simple step pattern till we get to the center bit, just like so. 
Once we get to the center, which should be this stripped line, we're going to go with an upside down stair. And here on the top, we're just going to go with a slab right there. Then we're going to come back this way, simple step pattern, and we're going to meet right back up into the center bit. I fell, that's fine. And then we're going to meet up right there. Perfect. Then let's just repeat this on this side. And there you go. Now really super simple. We're just going to connect everything here just with some spruce stairs. All right, and there you go. We got this connected with all the stairs. Now, next thing that I want to do is let's break this up a little bit by adding a window. I'm going to add one right here in the center, and it's super simple. We're going to follow these lines right here that you see with the oak log and just take it back one. So right here on this corner, take that back, take that back. It follows the same line that you see right there. I'm going to go up by two, by two. Then let's get rid of these right here, these one, two, and three. And then let's get rid of that bit. Here in the inside part, I'm going to put a full block. Let's put a full block over here. We're going to grab our stairs and we're going to take this down right at this line. So one, two, let's go right here. One and two upside down stair here and just bring down that slab we have right there. We have a nice little window. Now let's repeat that over here. Let's do it together really quick. So follow these two lines I'm going to get rid of these through oh, these two right there. Take that away. Take these three out and the one in the middle. We're going up one and two, one and two. Full block over here. Oh, that's not it. That's it. Full block over here, full block over here, and then bring your stairs down, bring them down, upside down stairs, and then bring our slab bits all the way down. And we have another window over here. Now, I want to make this a little bit more broken, a little bit more rustic. So to do this, you could leave it like this if you want, but I'm going to show you how to make it look a little cooler. We're just going to come back in here and give some full blocks, put some slabs in, it, uh, in certain spots here, uh, go underneath if you don't want to see any holes. All right, and there you go. We got it looking really rustic, looking awesome on both sides. Now, another thing I want to do, I love this little trick. Under here, we're just going to add a couple slabs, just in random placements right here, and add some trap doors in some of the gaps, like so. doesn't have to be every single one, but it's looking pretty cool. Also, we could do it on this side, just randomly scattered around, something like so. Come back in here and give a little bit of trap door right there. Looks pretty cool. Now, next thing we're going to do is let's add windows and then also fill up this little section over here. For this part right here, we're just going to go with some slabs and some trap doors. So let's go with slab right here, one on this corner, one in the middle, and then our trap doors in the gaps. Then let's lift this part up. For this part here, I want to change this up a little bit. Let's come in here with some of the stripped oak and then let's bring this up right here. So one, one, two, one, two, and just repeat and cover up this little section. Some of these might have to break it through. That's fine. There it is. That looks awesome. And then come back here and do the same thing. And there you go. Also, we can bring in a little bit of texturing by adding some planks and just random spots over here just to make it look a little bit cooler. Also, now we can add some windows. So right here, I'm going to pop one out. Let's actually get rid of this top one. I'm going to put a stair right there. For this end, I'm going to go ahead and put a window right in the center. So let's get rid of these two and put an upside down stair right here. For this end, I'm going to put a window on this corner. So let's get rid of that one upside down stair right there. And it's up to you guys. You can add more windows, take them away. It's all good. Over here, I'm not going to put anything because we're going to add our little forge area. But then also what I want to do really quickly, I want to come in here and give a little bit of texturing. So I'm going to be adding some cobble to the bottom edges and also some stone to the mid to top areas right here. So it's going to look pretty cool. Let's do this fast though. All right, there you go. Our texturing is done. Now let's go over here and work on our little forge area uh, from this line right here. We're going to count one, two, three, four, five. Turning this corner, go another one, two, three, four. Turn this corner, go one and give it a two spacer and go one over here on this end. Now let's lift all this up. We're going to match what we did over here. Let's go up by four. All right, there you go. We got it up by four. And now over here, I'm going to do an upside down stair on this side upside down stair here on this side. Now, next up, let's go ahead and texture this really quickly with some cobble and some stone. All right, now that we got that in place, let's go ahead and work on our little forge area over here. I'm going to pop it actually on this end, so it's a little farther away from this wood we got here. And super simple, from right here, let's go up right from the center. Another one, two, three, four. Let's stop right here. And on this middle section, we're going to go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Let's go up eight, which is right uh, above one level over that slab right there. Then let's come on this inside part. Let's actually put right on this corner, one, two, and three, just like so. Cover that bit up. And let's go up right from here. Another one, two, three. Over here, we're going to go up one, two. Over here, we're going to go up one, two, three, and four, just like so. Then let's bring in some stairs. I'm going to put a stair right on top, right on top of this one, on top of here, and one on this end. Then over here on the outside part, we're going to go out another one, two. Here, we're going to go up one, two, three. Let's put a stair here, one on this end, and then down here, just a one and a stair right up against that side. So it makes it a little bit thicker on that edge. 
Now from here, we're gonna go really simple. Let's go with a full block every other one, like so. And then we're gonna go really simple with some slabs in between, just like this. Let's do the same thing on the other side. So right here, one, two, and three. Let's put a slab every other one. So it gives a little bit of a castle tower top there, which is pretty cool. And then we can play around with that style. Now, next up, we're gonna go ahead and give this a little bit of texturing as well. Just come in here with a little bit of cobble, a little bit of uh, the regular stone. I'm just gonna surround this up a little bit, going up to the top. And then down here, we can also mess around with a little bit more cobble towards the bottom ends, which looks pretty cool. I think right there looks awesome. On the top, we're gonna put a campfire block and then just surround this in our uh, spruce trap doors. On the top here, we're gonna grab a wall. I'm gonna go with a cobble wall, put this right on the top, right about there. There we go, that looks really, really awesome. Now, next up, let's add some more details here on the outside bit. I'm just gonna go right from this spot and give it a little bit of a lining with trap doors on this side, trap door lining over here. Then I'm gonna grab some slabs and I'm gonna add some spruce slabs right on this top bit. We have this nice and enclosed right here. Now, once we add this, we can go ahead and just make this look a little bit better. So let's get rid of these two right here. I'm gonna put an upside down stair. Let's go with upside down right here in this corner, one over here. Let's put a stair facing upwards. I'm gonna put a full block on each side and stairs facing downwards. In the inside here, we can go with just regular furnaces so we don't have any villager professions in here. And this will be our little smithing area. All right, so I did add some windows, some white glass, and the doors are in place, but now we gotta break up these flat walls. So the way to do this right here on this corner is add some spruce stairs. Every other one going from these lines here, one, two, and three. I'm gonna go with a slab in front of those. And then we're gonna add right here some trap doors. So one and two, one and two. Then let's go right on top here and let's add some of our campfire blocks. Let's go down one, two, and three, uh, right on the top. There we go. And just take this all the way down. There we go. And then over here, we're gonna grab some of our fences. Let's take it all the way down. One, two, three. And right here, we're gonna put a cobblestone wall. Let's go again. One, two, three three and a cobblestone wall right here let's also grab some gates and we're going to drop these gates going down right here one two and three so here we got ourselves a nice little overhanging bit and we can put some outside storage on this end and it breaks up this flat wall now for this back end here i want to add another fireplace and i'm going to actually sneak it in coming up right from this side next to this window and this breaks up also this area and the roof so for this one i'm going to grab just regular old uh, stone brick and let's take this up right from here in this corner let's go up one two three four five six let's take that out seven let's take this out let's put a stair right here of our stone brick right on this corner then let's break this bit out, let's break that bit. Let's actually take this line all the way out of wood and take up this log, uh, well, this brick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I think nine is, actually let's go up one more so it could be 10, so it'd be a little bit higher than this one. And you can kind of see it more from the outside. And then right on top here, campfire block. And for this one to make it a little bit different, let's add our oak trap door. And I'm not gonna put the wall like on that one. And then we can come back in here and texture this just a little bit. There we go, we got that cool texture. Now out here, we can break it up just a little more just to have more lines here. Let's go up one and two on this side, one over here, one, two, three on this side, and then it's at our stairs. So a stair going this way, one going down, and one going this direction. And then we can do a little bit of cobble detailing on the bottom just to break up that little area right there. Now back here, I wanna add a door. So let's take a space of one, two, three. Right on this spot, let's knock these three out. Let's put an upside down stair right here. So we have a way out through the back. So we have one in the front and then here on the back. And then to break up this flat wall, let's make a little bit of an overhang. I'm gonna go with a spruce stair right here. Let's go upside down. Let's go upside down right here. Let's go with a slab in the middle. Let's go with a slab on each side, trap door in the center. And then let's go with our campfire blocks again that we have here. Let's go down one, two, and three. One, two, and three. Take it all the way down. Extinguish this really quick. And now let's do the same thing we did over here. So we're gonna add a gate in the middle. We're gonna go with fences going all the way down, just like so. And we're gonna put walls on each bottom end right here. One on this side, one on this side, and take your fences all the way down. We have this cool little overhang there and this breaks up these flat walls. And now we're almost done. We're gonna come on the inside here. Let me show you where to put the, uh, the flooring. So really super simple. I'm just gonna go with slabs right on this line. Let's go every other one and it's gonna look good from the top and from the bottom. So every other one is gonna get slabs and then the gaps that we missed, we're gonna put some of our trap doors going down like so. Now that we have this done for the flooring over here, we're gonna go with a simple mix of the same materials we've been using, the stone, the cobble, and the stone brick. 
All right, now that we have this in place, really super simple, we're gonna put two stairs upside down over here to get the same arch effect that you see on the outside. And then over here, we can knock these six out, and this could be a spot uh, to put either a fireplace, a chimney, just a little bit of a heating system here for this part. And we can also go back upstairs, and it should look really cool. Let me uh, squeeze it real fast. Uh, and it should look like this. For this one, we can also get rid of these right here, just these three. I'm gonna put an upside down stair here and then we can add just a couple furnace over here so it doesn't interfere with the villager professions. And we have also maybe a little cooking area or just a little spot here for the villager to hang out. done with the toolsmith let me flip let me show you guys let's take a little bit of a walk around oh there it is this looks so cool so we did add a bunch of details on the outside added some note blocks uh, i also added some uh smithing tables of course we had some extra bits of storage here with some chests and look at him go he's having a good time uh over here we have a little bit of a water thing thing a little, psh, 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 a little quenching thing somebody told me that's a quenching thing whatever that's fine uh we also have some of our furnaces here extra smithing tables some extra details here some tools up on a rack right there which looks super awesome uh, as you come on in to this little section we should have a toolsmith in here doing some work right there tinkering away also don't worry about that leak uh, also some tools on display over here and then over here we got the pick of the month this changes all the time which is super awesome and yeah I love this interior uh, also we got some really cool plants some sea pickle action uh, some details there extra tools all the way around don't worry about that leak uh, but then here on the back uh, we have just extra storage on the outside also an extra uh, bit of a work station underneath this overhang right there which looks really really awesome over here we added some uh, tall grass some bushes a little bit of fern details uh, and then let's get up here to the inside of their living quarters so boom come on in little kitchen area over here tiny desk on this side over here we have a seat uh, just a little seating area to have some breakfast lunch or dinner extra details here on the corner oh I love hearing the little ting 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 on the bottom that's cool then we have a big bed over here uh, and just some details with some paintings and some extra bits right there. Well, there you go. I think I purposely did not put any barrels around just in case. <laughs> so you could replace some of these uh, barrels. Uh, well, some of these uh, crates or note blocks with barrels just to make it look a little cooler though. And I love the details on the ceiling. But that is it. That is all there is to it. The series completely done. Let me know what you guys thought of this series. Let me know again what to do coming up with the next biome and the next build style. I had so much fun doing this thing. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, let me know what you think. And you know what? Let's take one more quick pass down here before we're out. But thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next series. Goodbye.